Today is my last day in Cleveland. I'm moving to Atlanta. While I was there last weekend, after I opened up for Ace Hood, I had the opportunity to go into a radio show and tell my truth, tell my story, explain and deliver free life's message to the world outside of Cleveland. And there they believed in me. They took what I said and they felt it. They know that I'm not bluffing. They know that this is real. And they know they could feel the pain in my words and the sacrifice I had to make to get to where I was at just in that moment. And I've actually been offered a job at, to be a radio personality in Atlanta. I'm, I've been offered, I've been offered a job to take Free Life Radio, which I do right now from my car for free, to take Free Life Radio to the Atlanta, to Atlanta, a brand new Atlanta radio station. So today's my last day in Cleveland. I'm moving to Atlanta, and I'm gonna continue to push Free Life. I already know I can feel it when I pray, I pray on this every day. I've been praying on this for, for days and days and days and working on it just as much as I pray on it. And I tell God every day that don't get us to me. If I'm praying harder for it, then I'm working for it. And I pray that you give to whoever is working hard and praying even harder. You give them what they asking for too. And I've been asking for this and I've been working for this and I've been praying for this. So this is my last day in Cleveland. I'm moving to Atlanta today. I'm about to expand free life. I'm gonna keep growing this thing and I'm gonna keep letting y'all know and keep spreading my vision to the world until everybody can feel what I'm saying around the whole world. I've been saying free life going global from the day that I started saying free life is anything. Now this is a major step for me. It's just really the beginning. And I don't really think about it too much because nothing I've done in Cleveland at this point now matters. Everything I've done in Cleveland now gets wiped away. I'm starting over fresh, I'm starting from zero. And I'm, I'm not about to think that this this is anything for real. This is a great opportunity, but I gotta deliver. I gotta go down there and I gotta put on from 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 my family, from my free life family, for this city. Even though the city ain't show me shit, they ain't show me no love for real. So I mean, I'm not even gonna shit on the people who have, but they ain't show me the love I deserve. So I, I'm I'm still going out there to put on for this city, so that we got talent, so that we got heart, we got swag, we got creativity. I just want to say thank you to Cleveland, for real, for the people who turned me down, to the people that accepted me, the people that believed in me, the people that told me it wasn't real, for the people that told me it wasn't possible. I want to say thank you to everybody. I'm, I'm leaving Cleveland. I can't even really believe it, man. The stuff that's happened just with me chasing this dream, I lost friends. I, I've got in arguments with my, with my family. I've been kicked out the house. I've had to sleep in my car. And now I just feel, it just feel like... I don't know. It's a it's a tough feeling to feel, and I feel real anxious about the move. I'm ready to get down there and really to, ready to start this new next chapter. But it's just crazy, man. Because I've really been, if anybody really knows me and really been following along with what I've been doing, I've been I've been building this for a long time, man. I've been building this vision up piece by piece by piece by piece by piece for a long time. Just starting with me just buying this camera, people didn't even understand why I bought this camera. They're going to be a photographer. The next step, the next step, the next step. People ask me, Fredo, why are you doing all these different things? Nobody could understand the vision until I pieced it all the way together. And I still haven't even shown y'all everything. There's still way more. This is, I'm at like 10% of what free life is going to be. But I do want to just really sit down and really say thank you to everybody for everything. The good, the bad, the ugly, the great. I had a lot of good memories here. I was this is where I this is where I'm from. I'm gonna miss a lot of people. I'm gonna miss my friends. I'm gonna miss my family. But I know that God didn't give me this opportunity for me to say, nah, I can't do it. I, I know this is my next step. And it's not only just for me. I, somebody has to take the first step into the next door to see what's over there to bring everybody else. And like I keep saying over and over again, free life is not for me, it's for we, it's for all of us. And if I don't make this step and make this happen, who knows if I'm gonna ever be able to free my family or my friends or whoever. Maybe I'm not even the one that's supposed to free them. Maybe I'm supposed to do this test trial run so somebody else can free us all, even me. But if not, I gotta go hard 100%. I gotta put my foot through this first door. And after that, see what it do, see what I can do and keep pulling everybody else. So really, I just wanna say I love all y'all for real. I, I really love all y'all, especially the ones who's really been there for me. And I just pray that, I pray I'm doing the right stuff, man.
keep, I say that very often. I pray I'm making the right moves. I pray I'm going in the right direction. But with this move, I, I feel certain that this is the right thing for me to do. So I'm leaving Cleveland today and starting my next chapter.